Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? If you just take a quick look up there on the side, you can see, oh, it's just gone, gone now. It's $1.155 million that we got from selling milk. And yesterday, because uh, most of the day yesterday was cloudy, so I've actually fast forwarded it two days rather than just one. Um, so at the moment, cleanliness is on 19%. Grass is getting low, but everything else is fine. We're up to 89 cows. We get one every 14 minutes at the moment. Um, so I'm hoping that another 5,000 cows will reduce that down even further. Liquid manure is full at 800,000. Manure is not full. That has 952,000 on there, and it's still not full. 352,000 of milk, and at the moment it's only 952 in the morning. So milk, we're getting a massive amount. Now, if you look back through here, that's where we added in. Or no, we, we bought stuff there. We had 26 million laid out on new livestock. Um, fertilizer costs at 8 million. A 99 million income there. That was basically the extra money that we brought in. But here we go. Sold milk. 886,000 yesterday. Um, and then today was 1.155 million. I'm not quite sure why the major discrepancy between the two. Because um, I don't think that milk prices fluctuate. However, um, uh, maybe they do. I'm not quite sure. I don't know why there was a... a um, it's probably because I fast forwarded it so quickly between um, the day and the night. I really did jump forward a lot. Uh, you know, it was really, I did it really fast because we got the creator tools. We can go really, really fast with that. Um, but anyway, yep. Yeah, my question for this week is do you still want me to do pigs on this map? Now, we've got the pigs up here. We could start working on the pigs after we've done the sugar beet and the plowing job. Um, but I'm not sure if you want me to. I'm not sure if maybe we should concentrate on doing pigs first when we move to our next great big map um, and sort of play around with those for a bit, see what we can do with them and then maybe see about getting the other livestock installed as well. Should we just concentrate on the cattle at the moment on this map? Um, leave the pigs because we've got slurry to deal with, we've got manure to deal with. So we've got various different tasks that we can do with the cows that we've got here. So. Um, do you want me to do the pigs? Yes or no? It's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Um, this one is doing an absolutely wonderful job. And I am seriously considering getting another one. I did say to you last time that I was considering getting another one. At the moment, I'm just going to leave this one going because there's something else that I want to do first. Here is the grass that we have got piled up because of the surplus that has now come out from um, all of the cows and so what I'd like to do is I'd like to do something with it get rid of it move it um, I actually took the block cutter off of that Merlot over there and I'm now thinking that maybe we could have used that block cutter if you if, if we just opened it we could have used that one just to spoon it in I am curious if we could go and get one of these little machines where are they it's is it in animals I think it's in animals. Uh, yes, the Lely Juno. Select. And what colour should we have? Uh, what a colour that we've not really used before. And we've sort of been through most of the colours now. Let's go for a very pale blue. We don't normally go for a very pale blue. So we'll buy that one there. $12,100. We ought to be able to afford that. And if I back out of there. Now, I do want to... I've sold some of this stuff. I thought I'd sold all bar one of these. Apparently, I didn't. Um, I've sold a load of the John Deere's as well. It's amazing how much has already been harvested with that sugar beet harvester. This one here is not doing anything at the moment. I'm going to set that one loading again. Keep that one going. It's really struggling now, even though we've got the mod to make the weights a lot lighter. With this little tiny massy, it is struggling to sort of keep everything level and even in there. So I'm going to go through here. This one's doing fine. It's actually nearly finished. What do you want me to do in this field next? Um, we're going to be here for another few weeks, so we should actually finish this field. This tractor will finish. What do you want me to do in here next? Do you want me to start seeding it? Do you want me to do something else with it? Let me know. Get in the comment section. Um, suggestions of what we should do in this field. We'll um, probably do it with this little Zeta. It's a standard Zeta. No changes have been made to it. Um, and we'll use something small and see what we can do with it, I think. Um, I don't want any of that. Can I, I, actually I don't think that I can cycle, oh yeah I can cycle through, right, so I can cycle through onto that one, I want to go make the map bigger and then I want to bring that one up and we want to drop this down, I want to drop it here somewhere but I don't want to be too close to any of the others, if I move it there, perfect, 
Excellent. Right, so now I can start up. That slurry lagoon is completely full. We will go and take a look at that. We're going to have to find something to spread the slurry. But, I mean, having it full at 800,000... Um, is it 800,000? Yes, 800,000 is full. There's nothing else we can do with that. Two days. Filled the whole silo in two days. Does anybody remember that particular line? Now, if you can tell me what series that is from, I'd be quite impressed, actually. Um, it's actually it's not from a series. It's from a film. And there is also a series, but it, that particular one is from a film. He filled the whole silo in just two days? Well, I helped. What's that from? Anybody know? I know what it's from. And, and I'm a particular fan of, of that particular series and that particular film. So this does work. It's just very slow. So I'm going to go... If, if I stop right there... So yeah, it, it, it works. It's just slow um, taking it into the machine and then emptying it out again. And quite frankly, I think this is actually a little bit too slow. I don't really like the way that it's doing that. So we're going to scrap that idea. So let's go to uh, machinery and we're going to sell that one. Just very quickly come through and find it. So we've got all of those minion weights. I think the minion weights are now sat in the middle of the fields because I sold all of the John Deere's. Well, I sold most of the John Deere's. Um, not all of them, but just most of them. So let's just go through. Where is they? Uh, oh, there it is. I'll sell that one. Okay. And so we've got the Merlot, but I want actually a bucket to go with the Merlot. And I don't think I've got a bucket that has been adapted to a larger size or anything like that. So it's literally just going to be a standard size bucket. Go to telehandlers and uh, what's that one? That one's 4,500. That one's 5,000. And what are these here? Four, three and a half, three and a half. Those aren't any bigger. I mean, we do have, we could use the uh, the block cutter because that one does actually work with fresh grass. So maybe we could try that one again. You know what? I think we will. I think we're going to do that. So we'll buy that one. Okay. Back, back, and back. And we will go over here. We'll get into the Merlot. We'll jump it down to the shop. We'll pick up that block cutter. We'll bring it back up here. I know now to open it by pressing X. And then uh, we can see about just cleaning up that passage. And then we will get back to our harvest. Right, I have brought this one back up here. We open the block cutter like that. Now, unfortunately, with the block cutter, you can't actually open and close it except by pressing X. And I don't particularly like that. Um, I think that that is... Uh, to me, that's quite disappointing, the fact that you, you've got to do it like that. But if I hold this like this and I angle it over, I should be able to just drive forward and tip the grass sort of straight down and it will then go into the cows. I'm going to have to do a couple of passes by the look of it. So if I move over just a little bit so that I'm taking up one edge of it and then I'll go down the other side and do the other edge. It should work reasonably well. We can clear the whole passage all the way up through. We are getting a lot of grass so we should be able to get quite a bit of this back as um, new feed. I think that will work reasonably well. If I can bring this over a little bit steeper. Is that going to work? Yes, actually, I think that will work. It is quite steep now on, on the machine, but it's also emptying it out nice and quickly, and that's kind of what we want. So if I can bring that over so that it's um, gathering up all of it. It's going to be difficult to gather the entire lot because there is a huge quantity of grass up through here, but the amount that is going onto the forks and then tipping into the passage... Um, does mean that I think that the grass problem is mostly going to be solved just by doing this. Um, we're not going to have to worry too much about going out and getting more grass. We'll see what it's like after we've done this. We, we drive all the way up and then we're going to have to um, pick it up, turn around and drive around again. If I do that and then spin round. Um, I've gotten rid of also on this map, I've uh, temporarily sold the bulldozer because I think that is part of the reason that I was getting such bad lag spikes. Um, the, the sheer quantity of machinery that we had on the map is a lot to do with it, I believe. Um, I Having sold a whole load of the machinery, um, the, the lag spikes are drastically reduced compared to what they were. That being said, though, the bulldozer, I think, is probably responsible for a lot of it because it seemed to make a significant difference after I got rid of that. Um, so, yeah, just a word of warning, if you do use that bulldozer, you may get some issues with it. I did have a nasty crash on the map 
um, because of that bulldozer a little while ago when I was using it in Garala. But also, um, I did have another nasty crash this week, which I didn't tell you about. Um, using, I'm, I'm deliberately keeping this at this level because it seemed to have worked perfectly. Um, it's just catching on invisible walls here and there. Um, yeah, it was the the muck spreader, the Marshall. Is it the Marshall? Not the Marshall. The the, the major muck out muck spreader that seemed to cause me a few issues and. It did surprise me, actually, because I've not heard of any complaints from that one. But, yeah, it did appear to cause me a serious crash. I ended up having to completely restart my computer after that one. I couldn't rescue, I couldn't get the game back at all, um, which is not something I've encountered for a very long time, uh, playing Farming Simulator, any version of Farming Simulator, which, again, is, is kind of surprising, really. So, just be careful. I suspect that it's not just those mods. I suspect that there was like a conflict in there somewhere that um, did cause it, and that's what was uh, a lot. Of, that was like the root cause of a lot of the issues. Um, the fact that um, the the mods were conflicting with something else. It wasn't just those mods on their own, right? It doesn't look like we're going to easily be able to pick up this bit down this. Oh, maybe we can. We just need to be facing this direction rather than going the other way. And it is, it's, again, it's the stuff on the floor. If you've got things on the ground with a um, four times map, uh, it, it just causes issues, doesn't it? So uh, that's done. I can close that one down. And now if we take a look at the grass, we've got five, 575,000. So they have used up grass. Um, we are going to need to increase the grass production. We're going to find a way to... Um, start putting grass into the map a little bit better, a little bit more efficiently. We can't go and buy grass bales, so it does, we can't do it like that. There is a mod that we can do where it recognises... Ooh, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. Um, we can do, like, grass as... Um, hay is recognised as grass. So we could do that. Um, I think it's... Well, maybe it's the other way around, I'm not quite sure. That could be one way of doing it. So we'll sort of wait and see on that one. Uh, this one here, it does this weird thing with the turning at the end. Um, this is a standard hired help that does this, so um, there's not a lot that we can do about that. It's just the way that it works with, I uh, think, that the, um, the steering and everything on this machine, it does throw it a little bit, and the width of this machine as well. Um, we are up to just under 900,000 litres of sugar beet in this load. If we let it come down here, that should make, nine, uh, should make the full 900,000. There we go. So we're gonna, we've got now over a million litres of sugar beet and we've just done this little patch here. I am so tempted to leave this one machine doing all of the harvest. I really, really am. I don't know why. I just think it'd be really cool if we were to do it all with one. And I think that it would actually get everything into the one tank, but I'm not actually wanting to do that. I don't want to put it all in one tank. What I'd like to do is I'd like to go through the machines that we've got. There we go. I want to go to this one. And I want to run down alongside that one, uh, alongside the harvester, unload, and then take some of this off to the other end of the map. But I'm going to leave this one here a minute. I'm going to let that one carry on and do another couple passes. And while it does, I'm going to buy another harvester. And we're going to go this way. We're going to go to beet harvesters, and we're going to buy another HR12 because, like I said, I did alter the HR6 to be like 75 meters wide, but I don't actually want to do that because I've been doing that with just about every job that I've done lately. And we've got that the plow is adjusted like that anyway. It's a really wide plow. Um, I kind of thought that it would actually be better if we didn't, if we stuck to... I know that it's going a lot faster than normal, um, but I felt that that would actually be um, more interesting and more of a challenge if we were to do it like that rather than um, just going for our standard approach at the moment, which is make it as wide as we possibly can and then do three passes and the job is done. So this time I'd like to actually... Um, it, it sort of feels like we're having to work at it a little bit more. Do you, is, does that sort of make sense to you when you're... Um, yeah, the, the, does that... Do you understand that kind of... Um, that approach that I'm, I'm... what I'm trying to achieve, what I'm wanting to do in... Um, I'd, I'd like to be. A, I'd like to feel that we've actually worked at this harvest. I don't want to just sort of hand it to us on a plate um, with zero effort at all. And if I bring that one back there, I think that's probably going to be okay there. Start this one up through there, and hopefully it 
isn't I, because we used the GPS mod when we did this original plowing there shouldn't be too much deviation in the size of the field it should be fairly even and uniform all the way down through so we'll uh, we'd, we'll, we will keep half an eye on that one but I also want to keep an eye on this one because it is about to start going out into parts of the field that get wider now although it's not going to be this pass that will be the next one yeah it'll go up through actually it's going to be a couple more passes on there Ooh. okay so this is actually quite interesting because of the the steep bit there is some there's like a steep bank all the way down the side of the map here that we ended up plowing up and incorporating into our field um it's a shame we missed the beginning of it there but that is quite a significant dip back through there let's just bring up that we're barely halfway across this field at the moment that the, the sugar beet harvester that's working down there that's nothing i forgot just <laughs> i forgot just how long this field is this field is huge that's that really is it's nothing that it's done down there let's um just zip back through here a second and uh not fruit types or yeah well, we can go growth you know we don't want soil composition either we want growth there's the harvested bit there we, we've barely touched it we have barely scratched the surface of this bad boy this is really going to take a while so we probably do want a third harvester as well going on this we'll see what this one's like when it gets to the end because there is a bit here that was quite close to the gorge and that's the bit that i am a little bit worried about um so we'll see how it copes with it it should i'm hoping it'll be all right um what do you want me to plant on this by the way we're doing up we're going to be built we're going to be plowing up our super field fairly soon what well, actually i think we may even start doing the plowing in our next episode because there's so much of this map that we've got to do i figure that we could at least get a good start on it um what are you going to want me to plant here we'll plow it and then we'll probably just go straight through with the planters we're not going to worry about cultivating as well is it going to be able to stop here in time the braking power on this thing is fantastic that was close that's the like the, the tightest point is that bit right there i mean it is now gonna try to throw oh no it's not it does this whole weird backing up thing for a minute is it going to screw it up completely or is it going to be all right no he's going to be all right he's going to do it and he's going to go back across the map again let's just go and see this other one what's he going to do here is he going to end up leaving a little strip up beside the road there uh no i don't think it is i think it's gonna come back through and then the next one it'll take it right down over to there so this one will come up through here we'll watch this one up through it's it doesn't quite overlap properly but that again is more to do with the map than the machine um and you you, you do get those issues so we've got 180,000 liters of sugar beet in here we'll see what it's like when it's done two passes when it gets back down there the other end that would be roughly an idea. I mean, we're approaching 200,000. By the time we get right down the other end, I reckon we're going to be about 350,000 litres of sugar beet in here, which is quite a reasonable amount of sugar beet in a single... Uh, just just two passes of the field. That is, that is really going to take us a while to complete it all. Oh, I don't want to go that way. This one's coming up through. Oh, we've got another great big patch of mud in the middle of the field. That's doing fine and i'm curious here now this is going to be the interesting bit because this is a bit where it sort of it does tilt over quite a bit so you've got these steep slopes and this might actually make it a little bit more difficult for the machine to get through properly it does leave the odd little patch there in places and i don't know if that's the speed that we're traveling at or if it's the contours of the ground or what i'm guessing it might be to do with the speed that we're traveling at i haven't altered the widths on this at all um i mean it may be another symptom of the four times size map uh, as well as the speed that we're traveling at this is the bit right here this is that the, the steepest bit of all of it because i mean this is a bit where <laughs> it didn't even plant it properly we, we struggled to plant all of that and everything but it's, it's coped admirably it's done really well so let's go over to this one and the big question now how well will it get up through this bit we're on 1.2 million liters of sugar beet and I am, once it's gotten up across this bit, I, I just want to see how it's going to do this, whether it's going to leave a big chunk. Um, I'm not too worried. We'll, we'll let it leave whatever it leaves and we'll come back and we'll get it afterwards. Um, 
we'll offload some into the trailer because that trailer's only got a capacity of 8 million litres. It's just 8 million. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little tiny, like, hobby farm tractor, really, with just 8 million litre capacity. 8 million litres that thing holds. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave a tiny... It's going to leave that little tiny bit there. It's almost a completely full strip. Oh, well, we'll let it do that. And that one is back up through again. Let me just whiz through our tractors. Where is... Oh, this one's... She's doing fine. She's doing fine. I, have you noticed that almost every time when we set the hired help going, we get a female hired help on this one? I don't know if it defaults or if it sort of leans towards a male or a female, depending on the first time that you select that one. Um, it'd be quite interesting if it does, actually. I, I, I really don't... <laughs> Look at the speed that that thing disappears off into the distance. Yes. <laughs> because of the size of the fields, you don't sort of realise just how fast he's going until you're travelling along. Until you sort, until you stopped and it goes off into the distance. That's, it's doing 60 miles an hour. We're harvesting sugar beet at 60 miles an hour here, ladies and gentlemen. That is a phenomenal speed. It really is. Go on, go on a little bit faster. Is it 60 or is it 50? It's, it's something like that. I can't even... I, hold still, hold still, hold still. Whoa. Helper G is blocked by an object. It doesn't like it at all, does it? I couldn't do that. Uh, 245,000. Is it going to be able to sort itself back out again? I don't know. I'm on... Yeah, I didn't offload very much then. It, it tried to a little bit, but it didn't do it very well. If I park alongside it here, hopefully... It will be able to unload into me now. If we can just stay with it. Stay with it. It's the double wheels on his tractor. They're making it difficult. I can do this. I know I can do this. I know I can do this. We, we got to, we're going to go so tight to it. And then, oh, through the mud. That makes it even more difficult. Maybe if I can go up. No, it doesn't like the mud. No, 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 no. <laughs> This is really, this is like really, really difficult. You wouldn't believe how difficult it is to do this. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, it's probably going to try to turn round when it gets back there now as well. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I didn't even unload it all either. Right. <laughs> Okay, all I did, I ended up touching the, the wheel against the front of it, and then it all went horribly wrong. I still, I can't do it. I cannot keep up with this thing enough to, to make this work. Right, stop, 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 stop there. Yes! This is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to try to stop it at the end of the row in order to unload properly. So, 1.5, 1 1.6, okay, it's done. We, we have unloaded the sugar beet. We have been successful with the unloading of the sugar beet. I mean, it took a while. Actually, you know what I was saying? What are we going to do with this field next? It doesn't really matter what we want to do with the field next because that field is going to be joined in with everything else. So we'll probably... We'll, we'll leave the cultivator going. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of... It, it, it really makes no difference what, what we want to do with it next because of what our big plans are for the whole... Um, the, the whole ploughing thing. Um... I didn't even think about that. That is going to make a difference. I wonder if that sugar beet harvester is going to turn around properly. I, I'm curious. I want to see now. Let's just jump out and we can jump back through and we can see. Yes, it did. It didn't do it properly. I thought that it might do that. We, it doesn't. I'm not too concerned about that patch there. But I would like it to at least continue harvesting in the right direction here. So if I just press H there and start it off again should be okay and i reckon he'll go straight through that little bit there should be all right i can't see there's going to be a problem and this one is on 500,000 liters coming back up to oh, it's actually approaching the steep part now this is the steep more difficult area we'll see how well it's managed to get through there the first time and then we're going to go back over to our tractor and we're going to tip it out we have just about run out of time so we've just been messing around with the sugar beet harvesters today I will, I think that I'll probably get a third sugar beet harvester going. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it with just two sugar beet harvesters. Because they hold 30 million litres each, they should be all right. I reckon they'll probably finish the fields. And there's no issues there whatsoever. So let's just quickly 
skip through all of these to the tractor that we want there we go we'll run up here and we're going to start our tipping at least we, we can do a little bit of tipping here i have just about run out of time so my question for this week we have said already that i was going to do pigs and sheep and cows on this map but people change their minds and so you may have changed your mind on that particular one now because of all the other tasks that we've still got to do so do you still want me to do pigs on this map or would you rather i left them now and um we did pigs on another map at a later date it's your vote it's your game head in the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner uh now i'm just wondering if i should try to go over to the other side so there's like a steep yeah there, there's a, a steep bank right there and i'm thinking that if we go on to that bit that might actually make it a little bit easier to do the tipping right from the start um I mean, I could just tip it right into the gorge here. I don't want to. I want to tip it into that bit back there. That's the bit that I want to use. So we come through here. This here is all going to be ploughed up. These roads here, the the, um, the gravel roads, they can all be ploughed up without any problems. And I don't know if these trees can be ploughed up. We could plow, We can plough this bit here and we can get through. And, and there's more ploughing that can be done here. So we'll start this tomorrow. We're going to leave the sugar beet harvesters sugar beating away and we will there it is that's the little bit that i wanted to tip off of right there i've never tipped off of a high ledge before all this time that i've been playing this game and i've never tipped off of a vertical ledge like this so i don't actually know if this is going to work or not i'm going to back up a little bit there we go it should go straight over the edge so if i tip anywhere it doesn't like it does it I, I, I don't imagine it is going to do it very well, is it? Because of the, the way that the, the whole tipping thing works. Yeah. It'll... It sort of tips. Um. <laughs> now, of course, the issue is that I'm getting hopelessly stuck. And it's not working at all. Oh. Okay, it's, it's giving me a boost here. But it's actually, because it's still limiting to only 5 metres. Uh, is it 5 or is it 4 metres? It's something like that. There's a limit to um, like the tip depth that you can do. And that tip depth is actually becoming an issue for us. So we can't tip over a vertical bit like that. So we're going to need to go to a shallower part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make the map bigger. And I'm going to jump here. And I'm going to jump back over to this side like that. Oops. No, I don't want to beat the horn. And so we've got a little bit of sugar beet over there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back around here and I'm going to back into this bit and see what it will do tipping down in here, into the water right here. Um, I have to go really, really slowly uh, because I don't want to risk losing the tractor or the trailer into the water. Right, that's it. It's, it's not allowing me to go any deeper than that. I thought that you could, like, keep adding it on top of the, the heaps. Is it going to let me go forward? Well, it, it's sort of. It's sort of working. Um, but it doesn't look like we're getting much of a bridge. And I think that the main reason that it's not doing much of a bridge is because of the fact that you've, uh, you, you're, like, limited to the amount that you can tip. And if I, if I tip here... There. Sort of make, making it uh, into heaps like this keep backing up is a there's a tip limit on the actual map isn't there it's, it's, it goes up to four meters and to be able is, is it four yeah it is four it's four meters um you cannot tip higher than that that's like the maximum um ceiling for tipping which is why you can make a bridge across a shallow area but you can't make a bridge across a deep pond um because the bit in the middle or can you yeah, I'm busy saying all this, but it's starting to look like we could actually do this. We, we could actually fill this gorge. If we're really careful with this and the way that we do it, we might actually be able to make this work. Yeah, back that up a little bit. If I go over here, easy, easy. And then go try to go into the middle and tip it. It's kind, it, it is kind of working. I'm, I'm getting a bigger heap over this way anyway. And we've got another 42 
18,000 litres, 7 litres there. Right, so I have sort of done a little bit. We've sort of made a bit of a bridge, um, but it's, it's not brilliant. It's, it's not a brilliant bridge. And what I'm going to do, actually no, I'll, I'll keep the trailer hitched on and then we can easily move should we want to. And we're across the river. So it is possible to do it. We can make a bridge, but I don't think that we can fill that gorge up. I think that the um, the game limits how you can do it. So it sort of does four meters off the surface of wherever you are, um, which would slow us down a bit. But maybe we could go and get a big bucket or something and um, spoon that around a bit so that we can try to improve it a little, a, a little, at, at least a little. And we've got a lone minion weight sat here all by itself. So I'm going to gather that one up and put it on the front of this tractor. There we go. Oop, no. I don't want to do that. I press the wrong button. There we go. That's the one. So we'll, we'll use this minion weight on this tractor. And we go herring off down here and see what the sugar beet harvester has done. Actually, this one can just sort of park here for a minute. Let's um, jump out of that one and go off to the sugar beet. <laughs> the speed of this thing is just phenomenal. And this one is nice and clean. This one is absolutely spotless. It's looking shiny. It's looking wonderful. And then we go to the other one. He's absolutely lagged in filth. Absolutely covered. Plastered in it. Because this one has been going through the soft patches of mud here and there. And that does seem to make a significant difference. So this one's got 380,000 litres. This one is now up to a million litres. I don't think that we're going to need more than these two to finish this entire field. The, in, the whole lot will fit into these two sugar beet harvesters. And maybe we could sort of try to use these on the overloading capacity um, over by that gorge up there. And see if we could dump a lot of it straight into there. Or I might use one and tip into the gorge. And then the other one we'd try to go and sell straight away. Because uh, some of you did want me to sell. Most of you wanted me to try to fill the gorge up. So that's, that's going to be our priority. See if we can fill that one up. And then we'll sort of see what happens after that. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.